All right, so starting off, you just want to pick two different exercises to warm up with. In this case, I did tricep rope pull downs, and then I also did a rope curl just to kind of warm up the biceps at the same time. It doesn't really matter which two you pick, just make sure you pick a couple and get nice and warmed up before you begin the workout. All right, so I started this workout with a close grip bench press, and I superset it with skull crushers. I did four sets total, 10, 8, 6, 6 on each set, and made sure to increase the weight as well. Tips to remember, just make sure that your elbows are not flaring out. You want to have them tucked into your sides when you go down. And also make sure that your hands, or actually your hand placement, is slightly closer to the shoulder width apart. Way too many times you'll see people and their hands are going to be way too close together and this is really bad for your wrists in the long run. So after I racked my weight here, I had an easy curl bar ready. You can use dumbbells as well, but just hop around on the bench and now you're going to be hitting the skull crushers until failure. So you're going to be burning out in each and every set. Really just focus on getting a squeeze with this and contracting your triceps. Don't worry about the weight as much. You're really just trying to burn them out, but just come down to your forehead and extend all the way up and you're really gonna start feeling this burn and you're gonna get really tired fast, so just make sure you're keeping that weight light and focusing on the form instead. All right, so our next exercise, I did a straight bar push down. And for this, what you really wanna make sure of is that your elbows are not locking out completely when you come to the bottom of the movement. I did four sets of 10 on this and I was trying to go somewhat heavy I also was trying to keep strict form at the same time and come all the way down. And so after I did these 10 reps right here, I did a superset. So I put my palms facing up, and now I was doing another 5 to 10 reps. Again, trying to keep the weight somewhat heavy, but having different grips is going to put emphasis on different parts of your tricep. Next up, we have tricep extensions on the machine. And I actually really like this exercise a lot. It kind of mimics a skull crusher like we did before. And um, instead you just have your elbows on a pad so you really can just focus on the squeeze and getting your triceps contracted. I did four sets of these and I just did between 10 to 15 reps in each set. I was increasing the weight as well. And on the very last set, what I did was a drop set. And I just put the pin about halfway, 50% down. And I just went until failure. but. Um, doing these, it really emphasizes the long head tricep, which is that really meaty section. It's the section that you see when you're turning to the side a lot and you're wearing a t-shirt, but on these drop sets right here, really just focus on getting a good contraction. You just want to make sure you're getting a lot of blood flow into your tricep. Don't always really focus as much on the weight on these. The next exercise is a rope pull down and when you do these you want to make sure that when you bring your rope down you want to be splitting it with the bottom right where it meets your waist. Don't lock out your elbows, that's for any tricep or any movement in general, never lock your elbows out. I did three sets of 10 reps on this, going pretty heavy on the weight and I also did a drop set in my very last set here and I dropped it half, around halfway so 50% and then I just burned out until failure. Now we're on to our final workout here. So we're going to be doing tricep dumbbell kickbacks and you want to keep the weight lighter, do between 10 to 20 reps. We're doing this for one set to burn everything out for one last movement. You'll notice that I've done a lot of volume on triceps and I'm doing a lot on biceps too, but I definitely threw in one or two more exercises just because I feel like my triceps lag a little behind my biceps and I want them to catch up and grow a little more. Triceps actually make up two-thirds of your arms, so they should be the bigger of the two muscles between the triceps and your biceps. Alright, now we're moving on to biceps. Starting off, we're just going to do a regular barbell bicep curl, having your hands about shoulder width apart. I'm doing five sets total here, and I'm going to be doing between five to ten reps in each set, just making sure you're increasing the weight. In my opinion, these are probably one of the best mass builders for your biceps just because of how much weight you can put up compared to the other exercises. But after you finish up your reps here, 
make sure you have another barbell close by or strip the weight off because you're going to be doing close grip barbell curls now. These put a lot of emphasis on the long head of your biceps and it's really going to help to build the peak. I just did this until failure for each set that I did, all five of them. Our next bicep movement is going to be hammer curls. I really like hammer curls a lot just because you can use a lot of weight and it's really good for building mass. It's also good at really hitting the peak of your bicep. I did 4 sets total and I did 12, 10, 8, 8 for the rep range. Uh, as you can see here, I'm bringing it across my chest and I'm almost trying to bring it up to my opposite shoulder. There's a few different ways you can do this, but personally this is probably my favorite. On the very last set, which is the one I'm showing right here, I did a drop set and I just grabbed weight about 50% lighter than the one I was using and I just decided to go and just burn out until failure. Remember, you're really trying to hit those biceps hard and really trying to get them fatigued. The next exercise I did was an incline seated dumbbell curl. As you can see here, since you're seated, you're not going to have any sway in the movement, so you're focusing more on the biceps and you're isolating them just a little more. I did four sets here. I did five to ten reps in each arm and also made sure to increase the weight each set. The benefit to having an incline bench is that you're actually able to bring your arms further back, which is a greater contraction to stretching your biceps. All right, guys, this is it. This is our last movement of the workout right here. So we're going to be doing preacher curls, and you can do this on the machine, or you can do this for free weights. It really doesn't matter. I just picked the machines. We're doing a double drop set here. But uh, we're doing four sets total, and we're doing 12 to 15 reps, increasing the weight each set. As you can see, I'm trying to bring my arms all the way down. I'm coming up, and I'm squeezing at the top, just trying to really contract it. So I did a drop set on the very last set here, where I dropped the tent about a third of the way down, and I did as many reps as I could until failure. Once I couldn't do any more, I dropped the tent another third of the way down. So it's a double drop set. Now I just burn down until failure completely.